Hey guys, what's up? Light here. And welcome back again. Uh, very fast compared to the last upload. I'm um, not sure if this is going to be a day or two after, but um, I decided to treat you guys and honestly with more games than usual as well. Um, not only because, you know, I really enjoy playing the tank and it was hard for me to stop playing, but just more so due to the fact that I haven't uploaded, you know, like weekly, like I said I was. Like the last upload, that last upload obviously was really fast. It was like yesterday, I think, or the day before. Um, but the one before that was like two weeks out, so I kind of missed a week. So I'm going to try to make up for it with this. And, you know, I was in a training just now and I was like, you know what? While I'm on Blitz, let me start recording, you know, since I have the time right before the Super Bowl and, you know, plans are made and whatnot. Uh, definitely get in here and play some games for you guys and show you why the Caro 45T is going under the radar. Um, you'll see here, it's been, it's been played more. I don't know why it's been played more recently because i saw in this gameplay at least half the games or a little more than half i saw a lot of caro 45 t's at least one on the enemy team which took me by surprise i didn't think this tank was that popular um just because it gets a bad rap and uh, rightfully so i mean the dpm is really bad and the maneuverability isn't great you know the numbers on this tank they just speak terrible right but it's the feel for me i always like the feel of a tank because numbers do lie you know they they always say men lie women lie but you know numbers never lie i think it, it does in a sense it just depends like you know the way it feels in your hands like when you play a tank despite the numbers uh being good or bad i mean numbers can be good but maybe you know you're just not used to a tank that's like uh that moves away like an op tank does and you're used to like a different style or a different class of tanks you know because there's people that strictly play tds or people that strictly play mediums etc so um, we're here um, in Yamato Harbor. Sorry for rambling so much. It's just, man, this tank is so good. I'm not even lying. And I was, I did go up to a sloppy start, as you see here. I'm already at 500 HP. I didn't think the 183 had uh, any angle on me left from the left, but you know, he's a, he's a good player. I do think I hit that snapshot because it went directly on there. So we'll see the shared and spotted later. We'll see if we did hit that because um, I didn't check it um, after this game. So I'm going to have to pay attention to that right now. So I do want to make a, an aggressive push to their spawn because the 183 is left out to dry. And if the Sheridan comes back, he's a one shot. I know that for sure. I think I did hit that shot. And so he's distracted, right? And I'm just going to take advantage here. Um, I'm not going to go into sniper mode. So like you see the Sheridan there. If you pause the video, the Sheridan is at 32 HP. So I did hit the blind shot. Um, but yeah, I just put a full clip in there. Just looking around. Didn't want to go into sniper mode because I'm pretty low. So I didn't want to be tunnel visioned and then just get smacked out of nowhere and wow the girl was there i could have died um so good thing i was looking out for that um he was i think he was playing at an angle too far on my left so that he didn't have a clear shot on me so i'm grateful that uh that happened so i'm still alive um but the game is tied and we're down on caps so what i'm gonna do here is i do want to pick up the kill on the 183 of the sheridan can can't because i can see it now um i definitely could have hopped in there earlier and saved my sheridan um, but I thought he had the um, he had the shot there because I guess he just didn't react in time. So I put a shot in the 57 expecting him to peek me. And I'm just going to get out of here now because there's no reason for me to stay in this crossfire with a guy in front of me, with a guy on my right and left. What I will do though is uh, we are down the caps, but I don't have any HP from that 183 shot in the beginning that I took. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put some pressure on this grill and uh the grill spots me here in the opening it looks like he was spotting that opening so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fake that i'm not going there anymore and then once i'm unspotted i will go and i have to just book it i have to ego chow this guy i have to react faster than him in this shot here so bam i put the shot in he bounces he didn't get the clear shot i was faster than him and I thought I was going to keep getting shots here, so that's why I stayed here for a bit. But I should have kept the moving in hindsight. And he actually peeks again. And so I get really safe. And I just hit an insane snapshot. But it's a, it's way too late for me to get into caps anyways. Um, it kind of sucks. I definitely wanted that game. I felt pretty good after a really bad start. And uh, yeah, it's just the, the, the good damage didn't culminate with a good win. Um, just because I was a little sloppy at the start. But it was at the start of this gameplay, so I mean, I'll take it for what it is, you know. First games in pubs for the day. Um, and I feel already warmed up. I feel all right because I already had the training and whatnot. So I definitely want to play on the med side on this map. 
because this tank doesn't have the mobility to go from the left and the right side of the map easily like a light tank or something and so you generally want to play a side that's generic that's to your role that you can support really well um and uh and yeah that you won't have to uh flank for a while because this tank is not fast right so you kind of want to stay in the vicinity where you have an idea of where the main brawl is going to be and so i just chose seaside because you know that's pretty much where a lot of tanks brawl and i'm not going to be pushing the tempo and going for spots and whatnot in this tank you're not going to see that for me this gameplay because this tank although it does have over 300 of view range the camo is not the best um and also the uh speed isn't the best to get out of tricky spots uh when you do spot so yeah i see the sheridan i put a shot in him and you know our teammate hits another shot so i'm going to start firing on the 752 and here i mean i think it's a clear shot um there but i mean the gun accuracy isn't the very best so it just dips down um and it doesn't go where my reticle was but that's completely fine we got a nice free kill here and we have our eyes set on probably pushing this i'm gonna lead the push here because our team looks like they're 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 pretty much content with just like sitting here so i'm just gonna push the tempo maybe they can follow me and whatnot and get the idea you know trying to take some map control here and uh kind of leave these mediums into some sort of crossfire i thought i had a shot in the shared in there but he keeps running and um and yeah i'm very relaxed here i'm aware that they have no td so that's why i was over peaking and the two heavies were spotted on a but on the other side where they have no shots so i'm reversing here i put in a shot on the caro and i'm probably pronouncing it very wrong um but it's it's fine caro gatro um whatever it's pronounced as uh you're you're seeing it played right now so um i'm gonna definitely uh jump on this caro here i'm gonna put a shot in here this shot i don't know what happened with my gun so i guess i was turning too much while um while looking for that uh aim shot there so yeah don't turn while you're shooting because the the traverse is really nice it's way quicker than the turret traverse so yeah don't don't do what i just did uh, the game's pretty much won um we do have low hps though so we do have to be careful um but i'm gonna play for crossfire here i'm gonna go far left on the bunker that's my play from the start get crossfire here if they push me i have a guy with me right behind i'm um, here i just shot too late um i shot like i want to say like a millisecond or two a little late it would have been a nice shot but you're gonna see here i'm gonna get redemption with that kind of like same style of shot so i put in the shot here and that's how i want to do it right before i hit the wall so redemption there and we're gonna sit at 3k with this shot again you don't want to shoot the last shell i it's funny because i've been talking so much and i didn't even mention the auto reloading function of this tank um it's amazing for the first three shells but you never want to fire the last shell unless you're going to be repositioning yourself for a while and you can afford to let it go or if it's like you know garbage time where you can't afford to you know end of the game type of thing or something like that or where you desperately need where you desperately need a kill as well and you know that your teammates aren't going to get it and for you not to take any more damage um risking either near death or near elimination or you know just unnecessary shots that you're going to take so that's just my stance on when you do want to shoot the last shot and you're actually going to see that here i think a game or two i did display the right correct time to use that last shot um but we're gonna get into more games here i mean the server was active um of course it's a weekend so you have a bunch of people playing the game and uh it's good it's good for gameplays it's good for queue times because a lot of i think a couple other videos um you know sometimes the queue times are too long so you guys have to skip those a lot but definitely gonna be playing the met side again like i said uh, i don't wanna in the car 45t your gun is so valuable to the medium side of the game and of the map because you're just gonna dominate and cover your teammates the coverage is gonna be immense the impact you have on that side is immense just because of the shots that you can put out 350 three times you know like if you're ever brawling in mediums can definitely get rid of at least one medium very quick with the help of a couple other shots of your teammates and so you always want to stick close to them like glue and uh, if you ever find, you know, that your teammates aren't going med side, of course, don't go to the med side. You're going to be alone. And uh, just because you have the auto reloader, 
No one's gonna be scared of you being alone. So here I'm gonna put a shot in the E75. I was loading, I was loading uh, AP here just in case he slightly turned his turret, but then I was like, yeah, he's not gonna do it anymore. And here, um, I should have led the shot. Uh, that was a very big uh, misplay there, but um, definitely, I'm in a very safe position. I have coverage from one of my mediums here, and the other one is looking like he's flanking. Yeah, so he's gonna get the flank, and we're gonna put them in a big crossfire. And so I want to support him as much as possible, even if I have to take a shot or two, as long as they don't rush him, I think we'll, we'll be safe. So I want to shoot the Vickers here, but I quite didn't get that gun depression angle, so I kind of bled for no reason there. And now I'm going to start shooting the Vickers here if he decides to turn away for a split second. So I get my split second here, I shoot him, and then I'm going to go for the Object 84. The thing is though, um, the Prejetto was preeming me, so yeah, that wasn't the best peak, but I did win that trade. Here, I probably should have saved my shot because the 57 was reloading and shot him, but I did kind of want to steal his kill from across the map, so... It, it, it would have been nice. It would have looked nice for the video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep rotating out of here because they're going to win the med side. So here, I accidentally have HE loaded. So I just quickly switched to AP, uh, APCR on the move, aware of where I'm going. And uh, I definitely just need to get safe. But I also don't want to completely leave the E50 because, you know, we play for wins here, right? And uh, I want to put a shot in the 84. And I'm going to put another one here on the 84 before he swips, sweeps around the corner. And that was actually a really nice shot. I didn't think the Caro 45T had the gun velocity like that um, because I don't play with a super supercharger. And here, I did not think my uh, tank was poking more um, outside of that house where he shot. So that was a pretty big misplay by me. Um, we're going to win the game, though, because we have so much HP. We did our job on the med side being com like completely out outnumbered and them having a kill early on us so um i'm pretty happy with our mediums there uh they fought really hard and our heavies actually did a pretty good job you know they pushed a lot of times in in battles you do have heavies who have the advantage on the other side um but they just, you just they just sit there the entire battle so we definitely had a good team this battle um i definitely could have done more damage if i didn't take that shot from the Brigetto. i just didn't think he was actually going to shoot that shot and that he had the uh, open shot on me but yeah, we get the win. Um, I'm going to try to quit battle so I can, you know, skip the loading time and whatnot. But yeah, I don't think I did a very good job with that. Um, so, I mean, we, we, get the, we get the standard, I guess. Um, it's not too bad of a game, but um, we'll definitely look for things that we can improve on next game for sure. Um, this tank is just fun to play just because it doesn't feel overpowered and it actually, you know, challenges you. It challenges you to use your brain to, uh, for positioning and it challenges you in a way of like, yeah, you know what? This tank may not be the best, but I can use my skill um, to hit some crazy shots. And I could also um, just make it work for me. I can I can mold it into how I want it to be for me in my play style. So um, a lot of the times you don't see me sitting a lot. I do um, have a couple games here where I do sit a lot in this tank, but that's because I have no option, you know, like you, again, like I said, you can't be like running around too much in this just due to the fact that you're not going to be, um, able to outrun many tanks, uh, especially their mediums. And so you kind of have to play it. Um, I don't know, man. I don't even know the style. I can't really tell you how to play it. I can't compare it to any other tank. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's its own tank. Um, it's not similar to anything in my opinion, just cause there's nothing like it in tier 10, so. Yeah, we get the kill on the TVP. It looks like he was probably gonna flank on A, but once he saw we were going on A, he kinda like decided to dip out. But unfortunately, um, that was my plan all along, right? If we're not going C, what I wanna do is hug the far left of the, of the map, what I'm doing here, as you see. Cause if there's anyone playing on the TD, I'm gonna have angles, as you just saw. And I'm also going to have angles unspotted on anyone peeking over the balcony on the seat cap. So that's why I always love playing uh, this very far wide um, part of the map if I'm playing uh, A side. Because um, my teammates are usually the ones that are going to go in through town and go into the seat cap. And I can cover them if there's anything on the balcony or anything rushing them into town or anything. So just something for you to play for if your team uh, decides not to play seaside which is the most popular uh uh cap that's played on this map but yeah um i'm completely free here the caro is on the um other side of the map 
and I'm just gonna have my way with this TP. I do kind of want to save this 57, so what I do is I go for the track here, trying to mess up the shot of the TP if he tries to snapshot, but that's not gonna happen, so um, he actually tracks him himself, and so he messes it up himself, so it was a good play by our uh, TP, and we combo that uh, TP with tracks, so very nice play on his end. And what I'm gonna do is just put some shots on this E100, and I'm gonna make sure to keep him away from shooting any tanks in town. Um, so I'm gonna keep him distracted here. I was thinking about going to the far left, but I don't wanna leave middle compromised. And I also don't wanna leave this juicy E100 unfarmed. So yeah, I'm gonna keep him at bay. I'm gonna keep um, peeking out so he can keep peeking me and thinking that I'm gonna run or like, do I, I want like some dumb shots of him. So I put a shot in the E100 and I do want this shot here. Um, I thought I could append it with AP, so that's why I didn't switch to APCR, just because it was slightly red, not deep red. Um, but it didn't matter at the end because the shot that didn't even go where my reticle hit, it went above to the upper plate. So um, now I'm gonna take the position I was talking about earlier. And here, I think I definitely uh, misplayed because I could have went up top and I was gonna do it, but I didn't think that the WZ in the car were gonna die that quick just because I saw the HP of our tanks. Um, but hindsight, 2020, I go up here, I can guarantee a clip in both of these guys. So yeah, instead of just this one shot in the car over here, hit the snap on his turret. He bounces while he tracks me with no damage. And then I'm just looking at the WZ where he died. So yeah, pretty solid game, clean game. I don't think we took an ounce of damage until it was like garbage time at the very end, as you saw there. Um, again, another standard, another standard game in the Karo. I mean, if anyone struggles to do damage in this tank, then I think they're just not playing it uh, patiently enough. You know, um, you don't want to be too patient and just camp all game. I move when needed, right? I move when I get the info. And you just have to be fast when you move because this tank isn't fast. So you kind of have to just look at your minimap constantly and try and be at the right spots um, early, you know, because I kind of had an idea what they were going to do. Many times they play C on Port Bay. So I just knew that I just needed to book it. I just needed to get the best angle for me to start raining down shots for the entire game scenario that was depicted in my head. Um, so I'm not saying everyone's going to play like that because, you know, it, it definitely involves experience um but just just be thinking just constantly think when you play a lot of people don't think when they play um so i put another shot on the 183 here and i'm gonna test the accuracy of this fully aimed in and uh yeah i i definitely was getting a little uh overconfident with the aiming ability so yeah this tank not snipe because even though I have the uh, aiming time down all the way, the dispersion is just not your best friend. So uh, you definitely don't want to be sniping in this tank. You know, this tank would be pretty good um, if it had the dispersion consumable, I'm not even going to lie. Because even then, it won't even be OP. It'll still be, it'll still be the same. I think it'll still perform the same. So it wouldn't hurt to put the dispersion uh, consumable on the tank. Um, but yeah, nothing to commentate on that. Just we caught the T22 off guard. So I just put in my three shells. And, uh, and yeah, just get safe from this whole re if he decides to turn and snapshot me. Because it's usually the players that you don't expect that hit the nastiest snapshots on you. So uh, you don't even want to give them that, uh, that shot whatsoever. And so that opportunity. Um, so I'm going to go mid with my 777 because he's full HP, right? And I was thinking about going to help this 50B because the 50B... It's probably going to put a clip into him. The Kron already shot. Uh, the Kron's going to die, so I can get shots. But I saw the Leo behind me. He's going to go help, and I can just farm the middle with my 777. So I put two shots in here. I see the Chieftain's a low HP one, so I put a shot in there. And he's a one shot for the Leo, so I'm going to leave the Leo to kill him. And he does just that. And I'm like, you know what? Instead of fully reloading, I have a guy right here that's going to go into cover. So why, why not just shoot him? Because I'm probably going to reload anyways. So... Yeah, the 50B. <laughs> He's having fun, man. He suckered them in, I guess. All right, so I'm going to start putting shots in this whole re. Um, or not, because, you know, there's no point to waste an important shell for 130 damage when the Leo clearly has a kill. So I'm going to put a track shot here. And I'm going to stay safe from the 50B. I'm going to put another track shot here. Hopefully they get the kill. And I was going to put the shot in the 50B, um, but he decides to kill... A 250 HP target 
when he probably could have put it into any other tank for 400 he lost out on like 150 hp at least so i don't know i don't think that kill was the best for him but you know whatever floats your boat i could have had another shot of damage so of course i was going to be like salty <laughs> So the, yeah, we get the kill there, man. So we uh, we're having a lot of fun in this tank. Um, our survivability could be better um, if we didn't just die like that. But it's completely fun. Um, the Car 45T. I did have a couple gameplays of this before, a couple recordings, but I deleted them just because I knew I wasn't gonna have the time to record commentary on. And I don't want to uh, record videos, right, and gameplay and then post it without commentary just because, I don't know, it's just, it, it's not the same, right? It's not the same. People tell me it's not the same and uh, I don't want to give the people what they don't want. It just doesn't make sense. So I deleted them and I knew I was going to come back and play this because it's an interesting tank. And uh, when it comes back in stores, whenever, or if it's in crates or something, and they're very cheap because I don't condone, you know, getting crates whatsoever um i i just condone maybe getting the first uh bundle just because it's like an insane value for you like the first bundle usually you're winning over wargaming in terms of just the value aspect um but other than that yeah don't buy crates and uh try and spend literally no money in this game if not the most like minimal um, but yeah, so if anyone needs to get this and if it's in stores, you know, just get it for gold because uh, it is a fun tank. It's an amazing tank. And uh, here we are in Desert, no, Oasis Palms. We just played Desert Sands. Um, so yeah, we're here in Oasis Palms. I'm flanking with the Leo. Um, you know, I noticed with my teams, they were actually pretty good. I mean, they, they took initiative, right, um, early on. But I noticed on a couple of occasions that these guys, you know, they just left their positions a little too early. You're going to see, I think, in like one of the last games. Um, where I could have clutched up in one if my teammate didn't leave so early and covered me because um, I was cooking the entire battle. Um, but yeah, here we are, um, just away from that talk. Put a shot in the Progetto. Um, the turret is a little troll. I thought I would have had the gun depression there, so that's why I shot um, preemptively. Um, but I didn't, but we're in a very, very nice spot. The teams are pushing both ways. I know the Yak could be looking at me. That's why I don't want to overpoke because um, I don't know where he is at the moment. Um, but we do have this E3, right? And I'm trying not to let him run. And hopefully the Leo can help me out a bit more, but that's fine. I think I have to take the initiative. So I switched to APCR quick and I have available shots here. So I put in two, the Leo puts in one and we're looking good. And what I'm gonna do is, right? I'm gonna catch this E3 off guard. If he wants to start swinging to my right, that's when I'm gonna make my move. And he's gonna be unaware and I'll go behind. And this is where I make my play. Um, unfortunately, our guy bounces a shot, but it's completely fine. Um, I'm gonna kill him anyways. I'm just gonna waste shells and time reloading. Um, so yeah, we put that shot there in the E3 and we're looking really good. The thing is, I'm kind of like, I'm worried that we're gonna win and I'm not gonna farm because we already have double caps and no one is going for our caps and they're, and our team's playing really well. They, they held pretty well. And yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna get another shot of damage. And so if we do any low damage this gameplay, it'll be this one, I think, just due to the fact that we won so fast on caps. Honestly, I, I can't even be too salty about it. Our team was actually really good, especially when me when I'm working towards the win rate more a bit recently. I will take this, I'll take this one. We survived and we won. It's not too bad, I mean, yeah, I could have done maybe 2,000 more damage, two more clips, right? But that's completely fine. We'll take the win. And uh, and yeah, if they don't want to push out and they don't want to get farmed, I can't blame them. You know, some people just, for some reason, play very campy, I guess, and don't want to take any shots of damage to try and win the game. So what I'm going to do here again Try and go to med side. You're going to see me a lot of the time just play med side unless our entire team, you know, gives me no support. I'm sort of, you know, like it's it's usual for, for tanks to go right side and then flush in through the middle. So that's why I didn't think anything of it. I think it's going to be your standard game, right? They're going to flush to the middle and then we're going to play left. Um, so I'm going to peek up here early. The only thing that worries me if I do push for, to the right is a car or like another medium meeting me as I cross and shooting me. So I do get the um, shot on him and we trade. Um, 
But now that the E50 is peaking, I'm going to make my way to the bridge and get safe in case I do need to run. Because it's literally just me and him and a medium camping at spawn 2. So I put the shot in the WZ uh, once I'm reloaded. And I'm going to have to play more on the right side. And I can play on this right side now because they have no middle pressure. It looks like they're playing town and C split. So I'm going to be safe from here. And hopefully the Fosh and whoever else can cover my right. Um, so the 57 decides to play on the C cap, which is completely fine. I'm going to outplay this Karo. Hit his, hit his uh, hatch before he's even able to react and hit mine. And what I'm going to do here, actually, knowing that I'm going to fully rotate out and I'm not going to get any more available shots, I'm going to leave. So it looks like the Fosh ditched me and I'm like, wait, what the heck? We're, we're, like, I'm like, how did this WZ get here? And so I'm left without any shots, which is fine because I was, I was already planning to rotate completely out. And that's, again, a scenario where you do want to shoot the full shells if you know you're going to ha not have any available shots and you, you're going to rotate to the other side of the map. That's one of the uh, few reasons I, I can give to someone to fully reload. And so here, I'm going to look for shots in the car, all right? And uh, I know the WZ is going to have to climb up to shoot me. So I'm just going to put in a shot here. And there we go. Um, I guess he expected me to help them out on the left. I just I guess I was just completely unaware where the Fosh was. Um, so unfortunately, I think we are going to lose the left. And I'm like, you know what, if I go to the left now, it's going to be a little too late. And so I don't even attempt it, right? Because I'm going to have a WZ um, and I'm a one shot to him. And then the Karo, that's going to cover him. And so it's going to be hard to cover a Fosh as a one shot when the Karo already has shots on him. So I'm going to do my best to try and clutch this game. Uh, I'm going to believe with all my heart. <laughs> nah, I'm actually uh, just going to try and use my skill and IQ to win it, but it's going to be hard. This guy's telling me to spend money somewhere else. I mean, I don't know, man. I thought the car was a pretty good investment. So I definitely get the clear on the Fosh from full HP to nothing with one shot from the mouse. And so the car misses. I'm completely fine. I just need to make sure I'm away from the VK. I'm confident I can win this game. So let's see if it's going to happen. So here, um, again, again, I just need to stay away from the VK. I can take a shot from the Karo because um, I can kill him. So I get the elimination there. And now that I'm away from the VK, I just have to expect the WZ to be somewhere. Um, so since he's not popping up on my left somehow, what I'm going to do is try and track this guy. Um, so I'm going to switch to premium, see if I can get the track, but not quite. I got the track critical and this guy barely misses me. So I'm like, wow, this is a perfect scenario to win the game now. And the thing is, I can't go rush him because the VK had uh, shots on me early, but now I can. So now when I turn for him, it's already too late because he's already reloaded with adrenaline. So yeah, I did everything I could to win the game. The shot placements were on point, uh, the positioning maybe could have been a bit better um with helping my team out more on the left but it's hard when you already have a e50m yoloing at the start of the game uh losing all his hp um so yeah um i think one of the enemy teams sent me a platoon but uh, i'm recording so i can't really play so yeah i mean i would have loved to have take, taken that game back um i could have said that i could have maybe went for the w's at a little earlier the thing is that as you saw, the VK had the angle on me. So if I even attempted to go there, I would just get completely eliminated. All right, so here um, we do have, it looks like a team that, I don't know what I was even going to say. Sorry, I had a little brain fart. So here we have a team, right? That's going to be playing um, towards the right, I thought, but we're not. Um, they're actually going to come and support. Um, usually teams play on the right. I didn't really expect any help here, but now I see the mini map and I see tanks coming to help us. So I'm going to stay here a little bit and uh, once they fully come in, I'll push up. So here they are. They're fully taking positioning and that's where I'm going to start pressuring these guys from the front. So here I want to put a shot in the uh, FV4005, but it didn't track it because the WZ was there. So it stayed still instead of tracking the shot um, with the auto aim. But yeah, here I just decided to take off the auto aim really quick, put a shot in the FV. And then do it again once more because you see if i had the auto aim there it would have been a tough shot since the wz is wiggling back and forth in front of me and so um knowing that i used to play with auto aim constantly um and i was insane 
at that mechanic, uh, I just, it's easy for me to switch it on and off now um, without any uh, uncomfortability. So unfortunately that shot didn't go through. Um, I think it was a shell velo velocity issue. I'm not too sure, but we got the elimination on the one, two, one, which is really nice. Uh, I don't think I would have gotten it myself if he turned left. And so we're just gonna pressure their spawn. I don't wanna be too early. Um, you know, our tanks are doing pretty well with moving and taking the map uh, behind me now. So uh, we see the 4005 move up. And man, I'm gonna tell you right now, the on the move dispersion, just the on the move, anything with this tank is not good. So don't try shooting on the move. I could have probably stopped for maybe half a second and aimed the first shot in. And so he would have been dead here, but it's completely fine. It's not gonna waste anything. And so I'm just gonna go for a track shots in this Conqueror. Um, I peek before he peeks, so I get the first track. And since I have two repair kits, I'm just gonna waste one just to make sure he stays in place. And uh, it worked out because our Hori was able to get the kill on him. And uh, yeah, he's eliminated. And so here, right, I don't wanna keep playing left because I'm not confident that the WT is even looking my way. This guy has been confused the entire game. And so he has no idea what he wants to do and instead he decides to go for a full flank on the right which is like okay that's fine he made his play whether good or bad he made it so i respect it um i'm gonna start just chipping this vk and keeping my eyes on the 4005 because i need to kill him in order to save the t54 and i'm gonna trade with this guy hindsight though i think i could have definitely waited for the next shot reload because this waffle is just shooting he just driving around clueless shooting he and then instead of coming back to help me, knowing that I'm a one shot now, he just starts driving to the tank on the other side of the map where he had complete crossfire on me. And so I don't know if we're even going to win this game. I think all my hard work and effort is going to be put to waste with this uh, waffle. I'm telling him to go because the 62 is going to be behind him anytime. And this guy's a literal one shot with HE on the side if he decides. And so I'm telling him to go, this guy needs to go. And he shoots AP at the angled side of the VK. And I'm like, you know what? We're gonna lose the game. I don't even wanna witness it. I just want my tank back as soon as possible. So yeah, that sucks. We lost a very hard fought battle. Um, and I probably could have had 5K plus if I didn't, uh, if the waffle covered me because I would have probably had a shot or two in the VK before he was that low. Um, but then I see it's understandable. Um, I just had to give him a thumbs down. It's just, I mean, any other player in the game would have easily won the game. But yeah, they wouldn't even be in that position and I would have been alive if they weren't just running around the map just shooting HE like so randomly and sporadically. Um, but it's crazy. He decides to not shoot HE when he needed to at the only moment of the game. <laughs> so I thought that was funny just looking back at it. I'm not even gonna lie. So I don't even know how many games we're at right now. Um, but I'm gonna keep talking until uh, there's no more games, I guess, so. We're here in port. Um, unfortunately, matchmaking uh, kinda doesn't give them good matchmaking because I'm the only medium and you know what that means, right? It's an easy flank for me, unless they all try to, you know, hunt me down deliberately. I, but that's rare, you know, that's completely rare. Especially when I'm undercover with like no avatar, it's completely rare. So I put a uh, shot in the yo really quick as he's uh, crossing. I was definitely um, looking for another shot in the mouse, but I'm gonna peek here. I'm gonna hit a snapshot just literally when I'm a millisecond away from hard cover as I'm pulling back. So I get the shot in the 183. Now we know where he is. We know where the glacier is. And now I'm going to tell the Hori to come um, and follow me. So yeah, not the best spelling as I'm driving. So I told him <laughs> to come follow me, bro. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to put some pressure. And I see this glacier. So I'm in a predicament because I don't have the best cover right now. I know my teammates are coming, but they're not fast enough. And this is where I say to shoot the last shell, right? If you're in a position, um, look at this 183 really wants to shoot me really bad. And so uh, 
he shoots hash at the track of the STRB because he was desperately just rotating to try and shoot me which I don't know makes no sense but uh, we definitely have the kill on this 183 and as I was saying um, I shot it just due to the fact that I was gonna take more damage um, because my teammates just weren't there yet and uh, I went a little bit uh, earlier than them and so that was a perfect scenario to just waste my full clip because I was either going to get completely farmed by him or he was going to pull to safety and that was just another enemy tank that we were going to have to worry about in the end game. And already seeing that it was a, you know, a decently close game and our team is split. You never know the outcome of games, so that could have been big. So I just decided to use that last show. But here, um, I waited on the STRV because he's healthier than me. And so we're, I'm going to bait this guy with the STRV here. And he's not running Spawnlander, so I get two juicy HE shots. And here, I could probably put a shot in the FV4005, but what I'm going to do is just completely reload the clip and put a shell in the motion. So I put the shell in the motion, and uh, now I can look for shots here. So AMX, before he even turns and shoots me, I get the kill on him. And then I'm going to go pressure this 4005 and put him in a very uncomfortable situation. Um, but the Yo is preemed on me. He misses one. I was going to shoot him there. But again, I didn't want to rely on snapshotting in this tank too much. So I didn't really go for the snapshot. Hindsight though, the game's almost over. So I could have definitely risked that snapshot instead of overthinking it. So I'm going to sit here. But this Yo is saving shots for me. He's not even shooting anything in front of him yet. So... I'm not even gonna risk it. And so he put he has to put his shell in the hori. So he puts it in the hori and then he looks for me again and shoots me. Which is fine, I mean Whatever floats your boat. So I put a shot in the motion here on the cupola before he even has a shot on me. And I'm just gonna ego child this 57. I know for sure. Um that's where I bank on it. <laughs> just cause I know it's it's a it's definitely a win because we have two healthy tanks and so i can i can take the risk of snapshotting that um from a bit of a distance and we get the win i fully aimed in the shot at the end in the motion and as you see top damage and a 5k game i'm very satisfied with that game um i think hindsight yeah it was a little early on the left but also i didn't expect the glacier to come back knowing that we would potentially push that side so yeah i didn't i didn't predict that that well that game um, just because it was very unexpected and wasn't the correct play to make but yeah definitely we'll be moving on to Yamato Harbor again we've already been here once and I think this is gonna be the final game which is nice I think I played a total of nine or ten games for you guys because I usually only play seven to eight for a gameplay which I think is more than enough you know just to see how the tank feels and just a realistic type of, uh, you know, kind of review. Not even review, just a gameplay in general. Um, it's kind of like a realistic way of like how a tank performs uh, in my hands and how it can perform in your hands too. If you take any uh, tips or just or just entertained. I mean, a lot of people don't even take tips from the videos. They just like watching me play. So um, yeah, I see that nothing was going to be on C if I, already, if I already didn't get spotted or spot anything. So they're going to be they're either going to be camping bush on my left which they aren't clearly or going to be playing town and as you see they're playing town and we have a free flank for us but we do sometimes have tds that do crossfire where i just pre-aimed so i had to pre-aim just in case but um there is no way that uh i was going to hit any shots there um and camp there so i just i'm going to camp here um on this angle here to get cross shots on the heavy side and so I know the WZ is taken care of. I don't really need to worry about him. So I can sit in sniper mode and get more accurate shots off on the heavies. And so I'm just going to pull back until I'm reloaded. Um, that's another thing. If you're playing an auto reloader or just an auto loader in general, you don't want to be in plain view or spotted until or um, if you're brawling around corners and whatnot. You don't want to be in the open until you're completely clipped so you can out trade anyone who decides to peek you when you do peek again or when you are spotted. So I put in a shot in the 268 and as you see there, the accuracy from distance isn't the best. It was fully aimed in towards the center of the tank with premium, but it just dipped down way down, down. So I'm gonna sit here again. I don't really need to move um, whatsoever. I don't. So I'm gonna put shots here in the Progetto 
I could probably, you could argue, I could probably flank left, but I'll be solo there, and they could these easily turn back on me with the Progetto and the Chieftain. I probably could have put an HE there, but, you know, I, I'm not sure of his awareness, and so I didn't want to risk him turning his turret just in a split second and then me missing the HE. And that's kind of, you know, the shots you want to go for in this tank. You don't want to risk too much just because the reload in between shells isn't the best, and you don't want to just miss a shot that you could easily put in um, with regular standard ammo unless it's completely super clean without any chances of anyone ruining it by turning in a split second then go for it like this chieftain here but again the HE penetration isn't the best so I put a shell here and well 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 the 183 finally decides to show himself and so at this point, I think the game's already over, right? And I don't think the 268's gonna turn for me because he has problems in front of him. And so he takes a shot from the girl in front of him just to uh, get the kill on me, which I guess is good on his part because he still thinks he has a chance to win the game. But the game's over, like I said. We have so much, uh, so many more tanks to theirs and the 183 decided to make his appearance at the very end of the game. So them winning the game is uh, very, very, tough and very hard scenario for them and so yeah i mean i think that that was it that was going to be it for the uh, gameplay and the games um and so you're just going to see the game being played out we got the win i got i think i got over 3500 uh damage this game so again it's a standard tank right it's a really no excuse me it's a standard uh average in that tank and uh, i don't know the average completely of the tank but definitely it had to be good it's a great tank it's fun and i recommend you guys get it so I appreciate it, and you guys have a good one. See you in the next one.